Well, with the title of this episode being To The Heart Kingdom, I wonder where we're going to be going. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episodes 128 and 129 of Black Clover. Real quick, guys, I forgot to mention this earlier. I'm recording this after, but the full length version, which is normally available on Patreon as an exclusive tier, is available for free for uh, the first and last episode of every opening of this. And this happens to be the last episode of opening. 10 and the first episode of opening 11 as well so the full length which is normally available on patreon is available for free in the description click that link come back here for the review if you guys do enjoy that and want to maybe keep that for the future consider checking out that patreon like i said always a great time over there such a welcoming community hop in that discord like always i'm excited i think i'm going to be skipping the opening though because i don't want spoilers People usually let me know in the comments, like, hey, okay, all the spoilers are gone for. You can watch the opening, and then, and then I react to it. I just want to let you guys know, so thank you guys so much. Last episode, we had a couple of, it was called clues, because we did gain a couple of clues as to where we're going. Not only did we visit Gordon's family, who was very weird and very weird, but the senile grandmother mentioned something about an ancestral, like an ancient family contract with Megacula, who was also mentioned by Dorothy as the one who inflicted the curse on Aesir Silva, killing Noelle's mom and inflicting the curse on anyone else who talks about it. And then Gordon's dad, Nathan, also showed us a curse like map, and we saw the biggest curse on the map in the heart kingdom and so that's where i'm assuming we're gonna go i don't know about our political relations with them so i don't know how this is gonna go but i'm excited and i cannot wait to find out let's hop into this black clover episode 128 to the heart kingdom let's do this all right here we go episode 128 okay yami's gonna make the arrangements i'm wondering who we're gonna go with what the party's gonna be how long we're going Never mind. Really? Okay. Let's go talk to Momosa. Oh, how did I? I was like, who could that be? Yep. Langris. He saved you. Yeah, I could see that. Mm-hmm. Certain parts of Langris still need work. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I have faith he'll get there soon. He's a he's a hard nut to crack. So does Fidoral. Good. Good. I like that. That's the wifey right there. <laughs> you know they both want it. Look at him. Because why? Is it because he's still a player or what? Yeah. This Langris is not wrong about this though. If he does want to make Fina's happy, he does need to stop being a player. But this is my first time uh, seeing, that's the one who Kibben was possessing, right? <laughs> okay, we have another rivalry, and this one's actually legit though, not murderous, which is good. Good. This is what I like to see. See, like I said, tough nut to crack, but we're getting there. Abundant water and lush greenery. Rich natural environment generated so much mana. And the queen. Okay. Thank you. Arigato. Okay, so it's Mimosa, Noel, and Asta. Two of my favorite women in the show, and best boy. 
Limit of four. Asa, who arranged all of this. Mimosa. Yes, she is not letting go of that spot. And Finral. Having wheels, so in case something happens, maybe you can come back ASAP because he can go to places he's been. Can't really argue that. Transportation. Oh, man. Even though I have a deep a deep-seated fear of the deep ocean and like sharks because I saw Jaws when I was way too young. I love how beautiful the ocean is. I love boating. I love fishing. It's the curse. It's the curse. That is true. He is stuck on a boat with three pretty women. Tough it out, Fenroll. Tough it out, Fenroll. Just be like Asta. So, this is kind of like their detection system. If anyone's not allowed, they get caught. So far, very beautiful landscape. Like Mimosa said, lush nature. Oh, abundance of water. Oh my god, this place is gorgeous. Is this the queen? She knows Austin is devil. She has like some water power. We must get our hands on it. I've seen her in the opening. I saw her in the opening. Oh, this guy's also in the opening. This guy looks dope as shit. Gaja. Gaja. Okay, water, water tribe, northern water tribe. This is crazy. The queen will transport us. We know she has control over water, but this is insane. Mana zone. Okay, this queen is insane. Mana zone that covers the whole kingdom. I mean, if she's as strong as a Magic Knight squad. Yeah. Water spirit as a priestess. Interesting. And why is that? Oh. Yeah, this is like internationally illegal. They're not hesitating. I respect it. Oh yeah, there's one person you need you can believe in. It's Finral. This man's the goat. Look at that. That's only third stage or so. This is crazy. The quick time magic uses. We're not. Oh, the Valkyrie armor. I know. I can never get over that. What does that mean? First stage? Third stage? How is he grading these? Is that her in the armor? Because that looks sick. Or is that just like a water formed knight? Lightning magic, Tangiolia. You can tell your spell commands to obey, but Finral's clutch. Mimosa's using her spirit cannon. Oh my god, this fight is sick. She's trying to keep the peace. For the vast mana of nature and she has a multitude of these water knights oh my god bro this episode went off kind of out of nowhere
Is this the water spirit that the queen makes the pact with every generation? One of the, oh, it, I didn't know. I don't know how I didn't put two and two together. When they said water spirit, I just was not thinking salamander, sylph, but this is the water spirit. How do you pronounce it? Undying or undine? That is insane. We've met three of the four spirits so far. I wonder what attribute the last one is. Yeah, I wouldn't picture Asa being a match for a spirit. Spirit so magic is so strong. Less than a ninth stage. So ninth is probably the bottom. And it goes all the way to first. Then you have eighth, yep. Oh my god, like a little water prison. You could drown someone here. So Noel's a first stage? Mimosa and Finroll a third? That's still super good. Oh, never mind. It goes even higher, which is, I'm guessing, who Gaja is. He is a stage zero. I like how the water spirit protects all the animals in nature with like their own little water bubbles. So it kind of lets him have free reign to do whatever he feels. I thought this was going to be more of a political thing where we slowly develop this plot and this, you know, conspiracy. But no, they're going right into it. Oh my god, Noel's a badass. Okay, Sekrei, Nero coming in. Hell yeah. Oh my god. I'm... Oh my god, this is so sick. And he's going right for the queen, too. What the fuck? Alright, so I just had to skip opening 11. I'm upset, but here we are. Episodes 129. This is insane. Let's get it going. A doll? Yeah, no, I swear it was a real person, too. What is going on? Is she just like an eccentric weirdo? And she can't even see? Undine is really like the true... Laurel Pachika. Laurel Pachika. Yeah, she is the queen. And that man got Sea Dragon roared. By my gal. And he defended it with his technique. He could have literally died from that. And she was also holding back. Oh my god. He is OP! And if you're dealing with a devil? No. Oh, wow. Only a spirit guardian should know. <laughs> Undine was wrong. So we're asking for our help. See, I'm just getting confused left, right, and center. It is Megacula. Oh, Megacula. I thought they were trying to fight us and kill- I was so nervous, I thought Mega Hula was like coming out or something with how- The pacing of this show, anything could happen at any part, you know? Oh, this is sick. She really does help and care for the entire kingdom though. She waters the trees and the wildlife daily. She can make it rain. She has full control over nature and everything. She named individual animals. This is a true sign though that someone cares. Ima Imagine if we're able to help her and we're able to make an ally of her. Would that not be crazy? Well that looks more like a queen's attire. Okay. Okay, Laurel Pachika. That kingdom. The Diamond Kingdom. Oh, and they're there scouting it? 
Wait, this is someone from the Spain Kingdom. Some of them were as strong as our captains and he defeated them so easily. So, from this, I thought they were talking about Diamond Kingdom, which would make sense because I thought Morris would be involved. But this is the Spade Kingdom who handled the people from the Diamond Kingdom that easily. What the? F See, this is how I originally thought it would be in terms of us meeting her, being like, oh, she's so beautiful, and then revealing the other side of her and unfoiling the dark plot, you know? But no, that was a good way to do this. I really like the way they, they handled this. That's true. That is true. So, uh, that's interesting. I didn't realize how different that would be from natural mana. Because, you know, in, in terms of natural magic, such as water, fire, wind, lightning. You know, we have like steel, mirror, portal, this, that, and the other. It is crazy. But in because of our newly developed insane magics, we gave up the divine protection of natural mana that's interesting okay so i'm guessing we're gathering this info he can defeat devils we do know that that dark magic which i don't want to pause it again because i just paused it but i love the theory that i don't think will ever be confirmed that yami is an isekai protagonist in this um in this show like he is the isekai protagonist of this show He's from another land. I don't think we ever heard where we came from. You know, we came over here. Uh, and when um, the devil, who we just fought, you know, with Licked and all that during the Elf Reincarnation arc, when Yami did his Dark Dimension slash Equinox, he said, wow, dark magic can affect me. It's not from of this world. Which, was, like, if uh, Yami was an Isekai character, that would make sense. This is just so crazy to me, you know? I, lo I love those little Easter eggs. Like, they'll never confirm it. It's kind of like Game of Thrones. Like, the, the whole iceberg theory conspiracy things I, I actually want to see a black clover version of one that'd be dope so she even knows about julius yeah she's knowledgeable ancient sealing magic and yes and yes he has anti-magic so he's in his own category by himself arcane stages arcane's a fantastic show it's kind of like specialists in Hunter Hunter, you know? You can't really quantify them, but because of that, they're unknown mysteries. That is true. We should report back to our superiors. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah, I would love to see you over there as well. Sadly, it is sad. I mean, if you just saw what Luck, Vanessa, and Magna just saw. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, and we had Licked and Lumiere. I know, this is opening your guys' perspective on, on power scaling right now. You're like, okay, we thought we were strong before. Goddamn. We have half a year. So, training arc. Training arc, gathering a new royal knights or a new big squad, you know. I can tell you. Okay, so we got a little bit of time. We're setting this arc up well. We got a little time before it. But when it does hit, and probably 20-something more episodes, it's going to be fucking crazy. Yeah, when you see Luck this freaked out, and he's not smiling. <laughs> They're pretty much done for, all because of that single individual. Oh, I didn't even think about Mars. Oh, no. Mars and Ladro should be, you know, much better now, right? Kind of have to get stronger. Six months is not the most time, but it's a good amount of time. 
First class senior magic knight. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy, you in there? You know a guy named Megacula? Did you guys go to Devil High School together? Get stronger. I like how he's giving him creative freedom, though. You guys got six months. You need to train like your life's dependent on it. And if you don't, I'll kill you. Surpass your limits. Go beyond plus ultra. Okay. Well, those were some fantastic episodes getting us into this next arc. I am super duper excited. So, what I thought was going to be taking place in the Heart Kingdom is now going to be a training arc, and then we're going to be taking place, oh, maybe, in the, we're going to be invading the Spade Kingdom, so um, we're going to be going to the Spade Kingdom. I'm excited. The Spade King or the Diamond Kingdom is getting fucked by that guy right now who is most likely possessed by Megacula, who is just decimating them. He is super strong. And somehow he cursed the Queen of the Heart Kingdom, who is has a spirit the water spirit undine who is super dope and the queen herself is super dope i love her empathy and her caring for nature and stuff like that she seems like a really cool really cool gal with a fun kind of eccentric personality her and julius would probably get along laura pachika gaja one of the spirit guardians lightning magic that man is fucking sick julius praised him he, he's like that man is oh my god you know that man is strong he's a level zero stage zero i like them explaining the stage system you know you gotta have that power ranking the, the scaling everything it makes sense um he's a stage zero we got finro mosa stage three noel stage one and i like how we needed to test them to not only explain to them what they need to be at give them some sort of indication but also so the heart kingdom can see where they're at so they know what they're working with um they obviously know a lot of information they know what happened with julius they know everything but we're going to be training for the next six months and then we're going to be going in the spade kingdom i'm excited the whole black bowls we need to get vice captain strength so we're going to be strong after this arc bam excited and there's a black clover movie coming out this year i'm so hyped i want to see more undines like water magic because we're going to be invading the spade kingdom with the heart kingdom so i'm sure we're going to get to see so many strong natural uh magic users and speaking of that i'm so glad they touched into that they touched a little of it during the elf arc where they were like especially over time more of these magics have developed in terms of how they were back then to how they are now you know over time generations people develop they've changed their magic then their children change inherit their magic stuff like that and like no one's even like at the time in terms of the elves have even heard of the uh have even heard of zora's like trap ash magic you know and it's like that's like i, I like that and um the laura pachika was talking about how they're unnatural and how they can create like metal and mirror and portal and all this unique non-natural magic types and attributes and i, I really enjoy the in-depth and world building of this i'm excited i hope you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all at dapper darius check out that patreon early access full length it is a good ass time over there hope you guys enjoyed have a great night don't forget to drink water tell someone you love them be safe out there. Peace.